Hi, now for this last part of the question, we've got to find the integral of f of x with respect to x between the limits of 1 and 2, leaving your answer in the form a plus the natural log of b, where a and b are constants. And we found out in the previous part of the question that the integral of f of x with respect to x was the natural log of mod x minus the natural log of the mod of 3x minus 1, minus 1 over 3x minus 1. So if you'd like to give this part a go, just pause the video if you haven't done it already, come back when ready and I'll run through the work solution. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So to carry on with this question, what we've got to do is now put our limits in from 1 to 2 and that's going to be across all of these integrals. and. That would mean that once we've integrated these, then we can just say that it's all of this answer between the limits 1 and 2. So we just substitute 2 in first of all, and then subtract what we get when we put 1 in for x. So when we put 2 through, we're going to have the natural log of the mod of 2, but 2 is a positive number, so we don't need the mod anymore. And then when we put 2 into here, we've got 3 2s are 6, take away 1 is 5. So again, we don't need a mod for that one, so it's minus the natural log of 5. And for this one here, putting 2 through, we've got 3 2s are 6, minus 1 is 5, so we've got minus 1 fifth. And so it's all of this minus what we get now when we substitute 1 through. So here we have the natural log of 1. We don't need a mod on that one, so natural log of 1. And then for the second term, when x is 1, we get 3 minus 1 is 2, so we've got minus the natural log of 2. And again, that's positive, no mod needed on that. And finally, for this last term here, when x is 1, we get 3 minus 1, which is 2, so we end up with minus a half. Now, some of you might realize that the natural log of 1 is 0. It helps to remember that. Okay, so that's 0. So what we've got to do now is just tidy the remaining parts up. So what we've got is the natural log of 2. That's this term here. And let's just take minus minus another natural log of 2. So that's plus the natural log of 2 again. And then minus the natural log of 5. And also we've got now minus a fifth and minus minus a half, so that's plus a half. So we want to head towards this format. So we want the constant, first of all, as the first term. So that's going to be this part here, minus a fifth plus a half. So we've got minus a fifth plus a half. If you work that out, that's going to be three tenths. So we got three tenths here. And then for this one here, we've got the natural log of 2 plus the natural log of 2. And remember your log rules. Let's just remind you that if you've got the natural log of 2 plus the natural log of 2, you can multiply these together under one log. That's the natural log of 2 times 2, okay? A common log rule. So that's the natural log of 4. And then what we're doing is subtracting the natural log of 5. So if you've got the natural log of 4 minus the natural log of 5, then this is exactly the same as the natural log of 4 over 5, okay? So rules that you should be familiar with. So when we come over to here, these three terms can be reduced to plus the natural log of 4 fifths. Okay, and that is in that format. If they asked for the values of a and b, they don't, but if they did, then a would have been 3 tenths and b would have been 4 fifths. Okay, so I hope that's given you an idea if you have problems on that part.